All right, so let's go ahead and put together our little bumblebee fairy house. And we're gonna start off by taking and just creasing and folding the base here at the score marks. Okay. And what we're gonna do is half of this thing, I mean, this, this is actually all one piece. So what we're gonna do is just glue the little neighboring triangles together. Okay, just want just a little bit of glue on that, not too much. And we're gonna fold that over and join that. Let me move this out of the way. And just join that, making sure that you get it lined up nice and perfect. If you get a little bit of glue that shoots out there, just wipe it off. Okay, and just hold that in place until it sets. I almost kind of wish that someone would invent a glue that you can cure by pressing a button so that once you have it set, the place that you want it, you can just touch a magical button and it would set so you don't have to sit here and wait. But nothing like that exists. So we just have to be patient and let the glue set. And again, you can use a little tape runner or a tape gun. I just um, never really had a lot of success with those. They always seem to kind of fall apart. Um, maybe I've just been using the wrong brand, but for little areas like this, it almost seems like even more work to get a little piece of tape for such a small area, uh, unless I'm missing something. So if someone out there has a tip for me on how to speed this up, I'm all ears. But the uh, scotch glue has never really failed me, so can't really complain. Always stays together well and I've had projects even uh, even during my days at SVG Cuts. I had projects that are still together and they look great. So can't really deny how well this glue works. So I'm just kind of going around in a circle here, joining the little uh, triangular tab with the neighboring tab and I'm just being patient, making sure that I'm getting everything nice and aligned. Just like that. And just holding that in place until it really sets. And then we've got this last little triangular tab that we need to glue into place. I'm gonna move this out of the way a little bit. Get my thumb in there. This is a little, a little challenging. Not that bad. Gonna kind of hold it in place like that and get my thumb in there. Just making sure that I've got it nice and aligned. There we go. And just push that into place. There we go. Okay, so now what we can go ahead and do is put glue on these remaining tabs here. And again, this is the base that we're working on. The base that the actual little bumblebee house is gonna sit on. And I got some glue right in the center and then I'm doing a little bit of glue out towards the edge. I'm gonna smear that and flatten it out a little bit just to give me a nice clean seam when I go and close this up. And it's actually kinda nice to let the glue semi-set before we put this down. Now flip these tabs up a little bit so that as you're pushing this down, it grabs more of that surface area. Okay, and try to apply even pressure all the way around here. And as you are pushing this down, kind of work your thumbs and your fingers around the perimeter, making sure that it's nice and flush. As you do that, it will kind of well, push it into place so that you've got a nice, perfect little hexagon here. 
and you're wiping off any of the excess glue that came out, which should be minimal because I did spread the glue out. There we go. Now just remember as you're doing this that um, although these pieces are mathematically perfect when they are designed, um, we're only human, so we can only do so much to recreate them perfectly. And as you can see there, I didn't get a lot of glue on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on a piece of scrap paper. I'm gonna grab the um, this little flat part of my pick-me-up tool. I kind of ran out of razor blades, so I'm just gonna lift that by squeezing it and throw a little extra glue under there right along the top lip there and just push and hold that down until that really gets a nice hold. Now we've got a nice perfect little hexagon. All the sides are nice and flush. We've got clean seams and we've got a great little base and foundation for our fairy house. And I think that is going to be the front because that part was already joined and I've got this little piece here that I want to go in and clean up a little bit more too. I'm gonna to add a little bit more glue there and just push that down and hold it until that seam is nice and clean. Okay, so that is our base. Now, um, there's a little lip that extends on top of the base that's made up of this and this here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, and I'm gonna use my table to help me fold at the score marks here without causing too many problems as far as creasing and bending things in ways that I don't want them to bend. And we're gonna put those in, we're gonna glue this together first. So go ahead and score everything or fold everything at the score marks I should say and get everything bent. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna join these two pieces together. There we go. I actually bent this one the wrong way. That's why I was a little confused there. So we're gonna take and I'm gonna glue this tab to its neighbor. And I'm just gonna do that flat. and wait for it to get its initial hold. And then I can kind of fold it in on itself just to make sure that I've got my alignment nice and precise. Uh, and you can tell that because the angle of these tabs should be pretty smooth here. It should be pretty much like silhouetted right on top of each other. Okay, so give that a few extra seconds to dry. Okay. And then we're gonna connect the other side just as we did the first side, and we can actually accomplish that flat on our table. I like to work flat as much as possible. Just gives a nice, perfect little outcome and result. So I'm just gonna glue that right to itself, just like that. Okay, and I can fold it right there, just like we did the first time, just to ensure that it is in fact perfectly lined up, okay? And give that a few extra seconds to dry and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold these tabs out like so, just like that. And we're gonna take this, this piece here and shove that piece inside like that. Oh, peace, don't fight me. There we go. All right. I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna put glue on the, just gonna sandwich some glue in between these two pieces and just kind of glue one little area at a time. And then this is gonna get glued right on top of that. And this little lip is gonna keep our little bumblebee house from flailing all over the place. Okay. So just go in and add some glue in between these two pieces. 
give it a few seconds to dry. Pull that next tab up. Just a nice thin line. You don't need a lot. I need to go overboard. A little goes a long way when it comes to the glue. Okay, and just working our way around. We've got three more here, and we'll be done with the base. Now I did a little prep work for all the different components of the actual structure. And we're gonna go over those here in just a second. Okay. There we go. And again, this part is not gonna be very visible until you actually lift it off. And I'm not all too concerned about the aesthetics of this base. I mean, it's more, it just serves a function, it'll be hidden. But I mean, that looks perfect. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue that right on top of this piece here. So what we wanna do is get some glue on this piece here, get a nice little line right in the center. And then work a little bit out to the edge. I'm just very OCD about these crafts and I wanna make sure they're perfect especially because I'm filming all these and these are the these are the actual final versions that you see on our website in the photos and the videos. So I'm actually making these live where in the, in the past I would do um, a second version of this and um, the whole reason behind it is twofold. One, it saves me a lot of time to only have to make this once and two, I think that it gives you guys more confidence to try these projects out when you see me actually putting together the final version. Okay, so there's our completed base with our little lip that the house is gonna sit on and it, again, won't, won't jostle around too much. So that looks beautiful to me. And at this point, we can go ahead and begin working on the actual structure itself. Now, before we do that, uh, I just kinda wanna go over some of the um, components here we want to prepare a lot of these things, uh, a lot of these components um, with our vellum. So uh, we have a total of six of these shapes that have the little score marks at the top. Um, I began kind of pinching these. Um, we are gonna pinch them. I'll show you more of that when we get to it. But here's one without the vellum, okay? I already did five of them. We're just gonna do one together here. And all I'm doing is just putting little dots of glue uh, surrounding that little opening. And then I'm gonna just put my vellum right on there. Okay, so that's what that should look like. Okay, and then if you want, you can kind of give this an early pinch just to kind of start it off. Uh, eventually, it will kind of curve like that. So you wanna do that to all six of these pieces. We can get those out of the way for now. And then, we have this shape here, and as you can see, I've already done uh, five of the little pieces of vellum. All we're doing is putting a little bit of glue surrounding that opening, and then putting our vellum right on there. Just wanna make sure that you have that whole um, cutout covered with your vellum. We've made the vellum piece a little bit bigger than necessary to give you room for glue. Okay, so that's that piece. And we have this piece here, okay? This piece is twofold. Let me show you the end results on the other ones here. This is kind of what they're gonna look like because we're gonna take one and glue it on top of the other, okay? So I've already done five of these. I'm gonna show you how to do one of them. So you've got this piece of vellum here. And what you're gonna wanna do, and actually before we do that, this piece is gonna be curved. So I'm grabbing my dowel, whatever you have, and just kind of wrapping it around the dowel to give it a little bit of a curve, okay? And that curve will probably go away here in a second once we begin gluing this on because it is flat on our table, but that's okay because you can always curve it again later. So I'm just doing a series of dots around the cutouts, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that I've got the cutouts covered nicely, just like that, okay? 
And then while it's still kind of drying, maybe curl it again to get that, get that shape. And now this color here, we're gonna actually um, overlay that on top of this color. So you also wanna curve that, preferably using the same tool so you can get the same sort of curve. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use my little dot method here to get some glue on this structure. And you want to cover that up with some glue too so that doesn't peel up at the bottom. Okay, and just do your best to get that nice and aligned over those cutouts so you don't obstruct them. And I'm gonna push down, make that glue set. And before it completely sets, I'm gonna curl it again. Okay, so there you go. So you're gonna repeat that process five more times until you have all these done. Okay, so I'm gonna put those aside and then we can take a look at the main structure of our house here. Okay, now I've already gone in and put vellum on three of the four. So you have four pieces of vellum like this. Okay, and you're gonna put them on any of these main pieces with the tabs that have cutouts. Okay, so I've already done three. I'm gonna go ahead and do one. And you're gonna repeat this for all of them. You're just kind of putting glue around the cutouts and then also a little bit down here. Okay, and just make sure that you're covering up the cutouts. And if possible, try to center it as best as you can. There we go. All right. So that's it for the vellum. And at this point, we can go ahead and begin putting together the actual structure for this thing. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that as you're doing this, you want to have it in a specific order. Okay, this is the front of our little house. There's windows on this side and on this side. Okay. Now, as you can see here, you've got uh, a design here with a little flower, and then there's a flower here. This is actually the back window, okay? So here, next to this, you're gonna wanna put this window that mimics this little design next to this door, to the right of it, okay? So it goes in this order, basically. <clears throat> That's the order that it's gonna go in, okay? So it's pretty straightforward, and what we're gonna do is and one thing to keep in mind here, there's two little sections here that have very tiny little tabs, okay? I wouldn't worry so much about this tab here. I don't really think you need to put glue on that tiny little tab there. Focus on these tabs here. You could probably get a little bit of glue on this smaller one here. Um, so just kind of don't even worry about putting glue on that one there. It'll still, it'll still hold. It's a very small area. That's more so that the light doesn't leak through. Okay, so what I'm gonna suggest we do is start at the bottom. I always like to either start at the top or the bottom just so that we can anchor this thing and kind of set a good tone for the assembly. And the most important thing is just to make sure that you get those little edges lined up nicely and accurately so that we can achieve the correct curve for this piece. Okay, so that's our first little tab there. And then of course, what we're gonna need to do is work from the inside here. And this is that little tiny little tab. Okay, so for that, I'm actually gonna grab my little pick-me-up tool and just put a little bit of glue on that and just smear it right onto that tab instead of trying to get my, my glue bottle in there because I know that's just gonna make a mess. And even with that tool, I had a little bit of glue that shot out. So um, maybe use something to glue that tab down. And again, we're actually gonna be putting panels on this. So if you get a little glue anywhere on that, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so again, this tab here, the small one, let's just ignore it because it's so tiny, it's pretty much pointless to try to glue that. It's just kinda be kind of frustrating, I think. And again, it's mostly just to prevent the light from penetrating. So I've got glue on that tab there. 
And again, you just wanna make sure that when you push and actually put this in place, that it's following that natural curve of this piece here. You want them just to kinda of join together while creating this natural curve here. Okay, so give that a few seconds to dry, and then you can kinda of flip it back over, fold over our other tab here, and go ahead and get some glue on it. There we go. And actually, I need, want a little bit more glue out, out to the edge there. And that was way too much, so I'm gonna take my pick-me-up tool and clean that off a little bit. I don't want that all that glue spilling out. There we go. Okay, so that's good. And again, uh, luckily, there's not that many tabs per section here, so give yourself about a minute per section. Make sure that you get everything nice and glued together, and then just kind of continue on here with the next tab. There we go. And again, I'm just following the natural curve of the piece, and eventually it's gonna kind of, it's gonna pull out and widen a little bit, but for now, we don't need to worry about that until we actually start joining the last piece together. It will kind of um, force itself out and it will actually turn more into a round piece. Okay, so, and also, you know what? Don't worry too much about gluing this part just yet. We'll do that later. <clears throat> um, so anyway, we're here, we've got this part done. We've got the front door and this window. And remember, you wanna put this window right next to this one, okay? So this one has a little bit more as far as tabs go because it's not joined, but that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put glue on this tab here. And I'm gonna smear that out. That will actually help it dry faster too. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that I'm getting everything nice and aligned Got a nice clean seam, and there you go. Just like that. Just make sure that the bottom of this thing is nice and flush. Run your finger along the bottom of that. Make sure they're on the same plane. And just squeeze until that first tab, which is the most important one, grabs a hold. Okay, then we can flip this over and get glue on our next tab. I'm gonna smear that out a little bit. I'm gonna flip it back so I can see it. And again, just do your best to align that with that curve there. And just hold that in place until it sets. And just be patient. Okay, next tab. So, I mean, you pretty much get the idea here, I think. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just kind of gluing the pieces next to each other using the little tabs. And before you know it, yeah, it's kind of repetitive, but I feel like once you get in the groove, each tab is gonna be that much better because you'll have more control over your glue. You'll know just how much you need and it's kind of a meditative, meditative thing once you get in the, uh, once you get in the groove, you kind of zone out and you can have a TV show on or something and definitely do this while you're watching a show or listening to some music or whatever. I always equate this to like playing the guitar. It's a little bit less of that for me because I have to actually talk and give you like a play by play of what I'm doing. Um, so I don't get to zone out as much, but I'm doing this for you guys so that you guys can have a lot of fun putting these together. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with these. As I was putting together the first one of the uh, little set that we have here, I just thought about how cool it would be to do these for the various holidays because you could, uh, you could uh, actually... Um, customize these for pretty much any holiday, you know, depending on the colors that you pick of the paper. I was thinking about how 
um, how cool it would be to do a fall one. And then I was like, well, how do we do, how do we do a winter one since the flowers are kind of springy or summery? And then I thought, well, you can always kind of grab a flower from another bundle. And we recently released a Christmas bundle called Christmas Magic, where we had a wreath that had some paper poinsettias. So instead of, you know, the standard spring or fall flowers that we have on this, um, if you made this in like, um, you know, a purple blue sort of color for winter with some white glitter or whatever, you could use the poinsettias as the flowers on the front and totally customize this for winter as well. So you just kind of have to use your imagination a little bit and you can turn pretty much anything we make into um, or customize it for almost any occasion or season. Okay, so I'm hoping that you guys kind of get the idea here as far as what needs to be done to get this all glued together. So there you go. We've got three sides pretty much together. And now this side, it's joined here. So it's just one less tab, but the process is the same. We're gonna start by gluing the bottom, then the next tab, the next tab, all the way up. So I'm gonna have you do that, and then I will meet you um, towards the end here when we're getting ready to um, close this thing up. So again, just go ahead and glue the tabs to the next piece over, making sure that you follow the curb, and before you know it, we'll have our structure, and we'll be ready to put our panels on. Okay, so I wanted to kind of jump in here before it was completely assembled. Just to show you that at this point, um, ultimately, when we get everything glued, it's going to be more round, but it wants to kind of fold in on itself like that, which is fine. Um, one thing that I've found to be helpful, and you may need to get a little tool of some sort and just put some glue down on a piece of paper. Um, I'm using the backside of a pick-me-up tool, and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of almost painting on the glue. On the, little, on the tabs here. And I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I kind of like how much control I have over where the glue goes and how thick it is. And that's kind of allowing me to get into little places where um, my glue nozzle wouldn't allow me to get into. Okay, so I'm gonna move that out of the way so I don't end up dumping my whole project in a bunch of glue but it really is turning something that's um, a little, it's kind of like a tight little area to try to get a glue nozzle into, and it's really making easy work out of it, as you can see there. So I'm just not doing anything different, I'm just going along and just connecting the little tabs to its neighboring side, but I've kind of brought in uh, a little secret in my arsenal here and just kind of painting the glue on those tabs there and just like that I got that right on there okay so I'm literally at a point now where I'm gonna be joining this thing together and again I'm leaving this top part alone I'm not gluing that down yet I want to make sure that the main structure is all nice and set and connected. So again, here, we're gonna need to kinda force this thing apart a little bit. And um, this is where it is gonna be a little more difficult, but not hard. Okay, so you can actually, um, with this first one, we can use our glue nozzle, our glue bottle, to get that first one in place. And again, the most important thing is just to make sure that you're getting it all nice and aligned. Now there's gonna be some resistance on this piece. So you're gonna to have to kind of, with your right hand, maybe kind of form the shape while you're holding it in place with your left hand and do your best to kind of nudge that so that it aligns perfectly. You can see what I'm doing there. It is a little difficult, but Definitely feasible. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold that really well and give that extra time to dry so that the rest, and you can see how the rest of it just kinda 
fits in there. And I will definitely be using my pick-me-up tool to get the glue into these little nooks and crannies here. Okay, so, because it is gonna be a little difficult to get a glue bottle in there. And if you want, what you can actually do is take and just spread the glue along this edge here. Okay, and that should be more than enough glue to get that tab to connect and hold. Okay, so just hold that in place while it sets. And then after you get like the third one down, um, the rest of it won't be as temperamental. It shouldn't have any difficulty. Anytime we're working with a weird shape like this, it's going to be a little strange, but that's what makes the projects unique, and that's what makes them stand out. No, one's, no one out there is really doing this sort of paper crafting. There's a few places, but... Okay, so I just got glue on that next tab there, and just being very patient while that, while that sets, because again, there's some natural tension here. This paper doesn't necessarily want to stay in this position, but we're kind of forcing it to, so just be patient with it. Okay, and that seems like it's set, so I'm going to dab a little bit more glue on here and just pop it right on the inside here where this next tab is going to go and get that aligned and just push down, wipe off any excess, and just hold that in place while it sets. Actually, giving it a lot of force there to get that glue to really bond. Okay, and moving over right along here. And just again, just spreading that glue on the inside of this piece, and then pushing the pan or the little tab up against it. Just following that natural curve, wiping off any excess glue there. You do need to hold it in place while that glue sets. If you move on too quick, it's going to come undone. So there we go. Just be patient. And you have two tabs left. And we've got the majority of the structure pretty much all done here. I'm going to grab my pick-me-up, peel this back just a tad, get that glue nice and smeared on the inside there, wipe off any excess and kind of bend that in, get that next piece nice and connected. And the project's gonna look really nice. It's coming together really well. Okay, last one here. I'm gonna peel this back just a tad so I can get my little pick-me-up in there, rub it against that inner portion of this side here. Not actually putting it on the tab, I'm putting it on the inner wall of its neighboring piece, and then I'm just gonna push that tab up against it and hold it in place. And there is our little structure. After this, we can go ahead and join the little top section up here by just gluing these tabs together. So that is pretty much it. And it looks a little rough, but we are gonna put panels on it, and that's gonna clean it up. And you know what? I'm really digging this. And these small pieces here. It's almost like I'm just painting the glue on. And I guess you could probably use a brush if you wanted to. Kind of just as I go here, progressing and, and learning new little things that kind of help my crafting out. Okay, so it's just really helpful in tight little spots where you're dealing with really tiny little, little areas. So I'm just kind of painting on some glue there. And Getting that connected. So that's pretty much um, upright. It's just kind of standing up. Okay. It's actually vertical, I guess, would be the best way to describe this piece that we're gluing. So again, I'm just kind of brushing on the glue and let me get this piece in there. And just gluing it to its neighbor. And this part's going to be hidden away, so if you get a little bit of glue that pops out, it's not the end of the world because our, our little flower element is going to go right on top here. We're going to be gluing that right on top there. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just going to continue kind of painting this glue on. There we go. This does not have to be perfect by any means because the, the lid on this doesn't actually lift off. It does get glued down. So this part is going to be completely hidden away. Okay, so there we got two tabs left. I'm going to put down a little bit more glue here. I'm actually down to my last bottle here. Hope that I have enough to get me through this project. Okay, just literally painting that glue on. And I'm gonna connect it to its neighbor. Wipe off any excess there. Oops. And just squeeze that into place. And there we go. We've got one last little tab left there. You can see it kind of sticking out right there. So again, just gonna grab some glue, smear it right on there, wipe off any excess and close that shape off. There we go. Okay, so here is what um, the main structure of our piece is gonna look like. As you can see here, I've got all these tabs nice and glued together. So we can go ahead and begin putting our little panels on this. And um, as you can see here, we have a total of six panels. And the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we just kind of fold little tabs here because we're going to start by gluing those on first. Okay, and we're going to glue the tabs and then we're going to glue and work our way down. So let me get my glue ready here. And of course, you want to make sure that you align and match up the correct tabs or panels with the correct sides here. Okay, so it's a pretty simple process. And again, we're going to begin by anchoring this piece right at the top, first and foremost, just to kind of, again, set the tone. So just make sure that you've got it covered correctly. And then just press and hold down up here to get that glued down and just hold that down in place until it sets. And then we're going to go ahead and put glue on the rest of it. And actually, um, you know, you really don't need to put a whole lot of glue um, on this entire surface. I would probably just focus more on getting the glue uh, around the little details and then definitely down at the bottom because uh, the curvature just sort of makes it stay in place. We'll do a little bit of, along the sides as well here. But, okay, so we have that top part in place. So we can go ahead and flip this over and just begin by putting our glue down on this piece here. You don't wanna, you don't wanna overdo it because you don't want that glue to warp the paper and show through. You want it to be nice and clean but definitely get a nice line out to the edge here. And I am gonna take and smear that flat so it sits nice and flat. And then just kinda finesse it right over this piece. Just make sure that the cutouts are lined up nicely so you're not obstructing that beautiful light that's gonna be shining through. And just kinda wrap that around the structure here. Okay, so that is that. And we can go ahead and move on to the next piece here. And as you can see, I have a little bit of a small portion of this that's still not sitting as well as I'd like it to. So again, the little areas along the sides there I don't think they're as vital, but this little part here that's kind of sticking up, I'm going to clean that up because I don't like that. So I'm just gonna grab my little pick-me-up tool and I'm just gonna brush a little bit of glue right in that little section there and just press and hold that down until it really gets a good hold and it's nice and flush there at the bottom. Okay, so I'm just gonna move on to the next side here and put my glue on this little tab to get that anchored. Okay, I'm gonna smear that out. And this one doesn't have anything on it. This is just a blank panel. Okay, just get that nice and flush up against there. Just make sure that you've got it nice and centered and just push that down 
and hold it in place until it sets. Okay, pretty simple. Just like that. Okay, and once it's pretty much set, you can go ahead and I'm gonna put glue here at the bottom and just work some around the perimeter. A little bit on the inside, I don't need much. Okay, and then just curve that over your piece here. And just push down along the entire structure and get that in place. If you have any excess glue that's sort of shot out, just go ahead and clean that up real quick. Okay, all right, next piece here. Um, it's a pretty much the same process, so probably don't need to show you all of this, but um, just gonna do one or two more just so you get the just so you get the, the main gist of everything, and then you guys can go ahead and again just make sure that you're not obstructing that cutout when you're gluing this top part in place and that you have a nice even border around that window. Okay, and just push and hold that down until it sets. And that's perfect. And then you can lift it back. And actually, while you have it lifted back, you can continue applying pressure to that little area and get your glue down at the bottom. Work a little bit along the perimeter up at the top. And then, of course, around the details here. You don't want that lifting up around that area at all okay and just lay that over make sure that you've got it nice and centered get rid of any excess glue that may have shot out and most importantly just make sure that you hold that in place at the bottom and around the details definitely kind of push down around there to make sure that it looks nice and seamless and flush okay so go ahead and continue working your way around and laying down the panels here. And then we'll meet you at the next step here. Okay, so here is the main house here. And um, we're pretty much done here. What we're gonna do next is take some of the uh, little embellishments that we have to kind of pretty up some of the accents, like this little window here. We're gonna get all this stuff glued down. So I'm gonna take this, and it's kind of a delicate piece. So we wanna just make sure that we do our best to not cake this with too much glue. Just wanna put little dots all around this. And it's such a small piece, you don't need that much glue to get it to stick. Okay, so we're gonna put this right here, right in place. And just kind of hold that down for a few seconds until you're sure that it's got a good hold. Kind of run your, run your fingers around it a little bit. We're using a nice white glitter. I think this is Recollections brand glitter, um, which I recently discovered is actually made by American Crafts. It's just rebranded as Recollections. Okay, so we're gonna put that window down there's another window here and another window here. Okay, so you've got two more of these that you're gonna put down. So I don't need to show you that. Uh, we have a little awning for the front door, which goes right here. It's kind of like a little puzzle piece. Okay, so we're gonna put our glue on the back of this. And again, um, I don't know if I would put giant lines of glue on this. I would probably just do little dots just so that we don't get glue smearing all over the place. And as you can see, once you get a, once you get a good hold on your glue bottle, you can really get tiny little amounts of glue out. And that will, that will do the job. So just kind of follow those cutouts there and place it nicely and delicately. Do your best to get it centered and just hold that in place until it sets. Okay, we've got two more little, uh, well, in this case, there's gonna be four more little pieces. Okay, so that's that one. 
then we have these little pieces here that go on the little flower here. Let me figure out how this works. There we go, like that. It's gonna go over that little cutout right up against that little flower there. Okay, and then the other side is gonna go right here. So you're gonna glue that down. And then there's another flower just like this on the back right there, and you're gonna do the same thing there. So you wanna go ahead and get that glued down. And let me take a look here. We've got, what is that little piece? <clears throat> we also have this tiny little circle here that goes around the actual uh, window and the door. So let's get a little bit of glue, just a few little dots on this piece here. And let's get that glued into place here, right around the little window in the door. That's perfect. Okay, so go ahead and finish putting all these little trim pieces down, and then we can start working on the little flower that goes on top of our house here. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is the little window on the back is slightly smaller than the two windows on the side. And therefore, this little trim piece is gonna be just a tiny little bit smaller. So make sure that you're putting the right one in the right place. Okay, so this one here is just a tad, tad smaller than the two on the side. So again, just make sure that you're getting the right one in the right spot. Okay, so there is what it's starting to look like. That is super cute, actually. And it definitely looks like a cute little beehive. So I'm just gonna put on my final little finishing touches here for this piece. And then we can go ahead and continue on putting our little flower on the top, which is one of my favorite parts of this thing. I think it's really cute the way that Ron designed this. and. I just have a really amazing team that's bringing all these magical projects to life. And a big shout out to Diana, who's, a, who's the local artist here who works for Dreaming Tree and takes all of the ideas that, that Ron designs and makes them into SVG files for everybody. And it takes a lot of prototyping and engineering and it's just, uh, she just keeps getting better and better and better at her craft and everything goes together like a dream. Everything's so precise. So big kudos to her for coming such a long way. Okay, look how cute that is, especially on the base. Now wait till, wait till we put the flower on it. That's really gonna take it over the top. So um, speaking of which, um, we can go ahead and work on that now. Now also, um, well, we'll get to that in a bit, but yeah, let's work on the flower at this point. This guy's almost complete here. Um, so here is the main part of the flower, okay? And we just need to, I've already folded this, all right? So fold everything at the score lines. And you have this one tab here that we're gonna put our glue on, okay? So let's get our glue on it. And I'm gonna get that glue out to the edge. This is gonna be covered up by a series of petals that we've already put together with the vellum on them and all that good stuff. So let's just get that nice and precisely lined up and put that together. You can actually fold this flat if you want to, just to kind of get more pressure when you're gluing. Okay, so. And then we're just gonna take that little lid. Let's lift these tabs up a tad. And again, this is gonna be covered up too. So even if you don't do a perfect job with this, don't have to worry about it. We're gonna cover that up in a minute here once we got that glue on there. And again, it helps to kind of poke the tabs up so that as we're pushing this down, it grabs more of that surface area. And just make sure that you've got a nice perfect hexagon here and that that's all lined up properly. So just kind of run your finger along the edge there, 
and just make sure that you've got that in place. Now, when it gets that initial hold, take your dowel and really add some pressure to that to really make it stick. Okay, that's perfect. So eventually what's gonna happen is we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna glue it right to the top of this, but our flower is gonna be all together before we do that. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take these large pieces here and we're gonna glue them right to this structure here, making sure that we're not um, obstructing the little holes here, okay? So these are gonna be completely, perfectly flush against this, against the face of each side. So you can go ahead and just put glue on this structure here. It doesn't have to be perfect, as long as it stays on there. And you want that to be flush with the top and nice and aligned with the sides, so you're not kind of going over the side and obstructing, obstructing the one next to it. Okay, and if we need to, after we're done doing this, we can flare these, these out again if for some reason they um, straighten out on you, which they probably shouldn't, but you never know with humidity and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna get this next one in place here. Okay, just make sure you're not obstructing the little cutouts so that our light can shine through. Okay. It's kind of a fun, really fun little detail that really just takes this thing over the top. I love, uh, really love these a lot. And I got to go out and do some prop shopping today to get all the fun stuff that I need to stage my little trailer. And I'm gonna create a really cool little woodland scene. And um, I think I got a little cat in there too. It's gonna be really cute. Okay, so just kind of working my way around here, getting my glue on this pretty little flower. Got three more to go. Again, just make sure that you've got that nice and aligned on that surface, nice and flush at the top, and just push that down. Then we're just gonna put a ring of glue on the top of the house to get this to set permanently. This is. This is gonna be permanently attached. I guess you could leave it off and not make it permanently attached, but um, this thing was designed more as a luminary and a decoration rather than an actual box, where the other two in this bundle are actual, you can actually use them as gift boxes. But I just think they're really cool um, decorations. I actually was talking to a customer the other day who I think is doing a baby shower, I think she said, and she wanted to do a fairy theme. So she's gonna be really excited to see these when they're officially released here um, today, actually. So I'm just getting my last one on here. Again, they should fit perfectly. Again, just make sure you're not obstructing the little holes for the light to seep through. Okay, so there's that. Look how cute that's gonna look once we get it on there like that. Okay, so there's still more to it though. We're not quite done. We've got these pieces here and these pieces are gonna go on the sides here like this and we do need to take and flare these out and give them some life. Okay, so we want them kind of like that and they're gonna be glued right on the corners. Okay, so just put some glue right up at the top here. You don't really need to go too far down because we want these to kind of lift up and out. So let me just move this out of the way for a second. And again, just flush with the top there, right on the corner. And just hold that down until it sets. Okay, and that also will be kind of covered up as well by the next layer Okay, so you get the idea. That's pretty much how we want it. Just make sure you have it straight. Okay, and we'll go to the next one here. Just make sure that you, you flare these petals out. We wanna give them a little bit of life. And just add your glue right in that little cranny there. And nice and centered. Make sure that it's nice and vertical and just hold that down until it dries. Okay, go to the next one here. Oops, 
going to flare this out. And I'm actually going to curl this a little bit more. I don't want this to really stand out. Just like that. You can always go in and retrain things and finesse them um, after we get everything together. Because sometimes while you're working on it, the paper tends to kind of revert back to its original shape and yada yada. Okay. So here's one that wasn't pinched yet. All you're doing is you're just kind of pinching it right at the little score mark there just to kind of create that crease so that it sits a lot easier on this surface. And then as it begins, oops, I didn't curl it. Got to curl it. Don't forget to curl it. Okay. And let's get that in place. Make sure it's nice and centered and vertical. Okay. That's looking cute. So we got two more and then uh, one more piece that goes on top of that. And oops, keep forgetting to curl these. And we're almost done here. Can't wait to see this thing all together. It's gonna be really cool. Okay, so again, these are this project is probably a little bit more work than some of our other stuff, but you definitely are not gonna get results like this without putting in a little effort, so it's totally worth it. And I am just afraid that just afraid that um, this uh, certain three-year-old that I know when they when she sees this, she's probably going to want to take it and use it for her calico critters. So I'm probably going to have to hide this, hide it well. Otherwise, don't know how long it's going to last. Okay, so let's get that glued down, and then wrap up here by gluing our last little element down. Just like I said, just make sure that it's nice and flush with the top of this thing. Okay, make sure that it's vertical. So it should just kind of be nice and vertical along that little area there. Give it some time to dry before you move on. And that looks good. Okay, so now finally we've got this piece that's gonna go on top. Okay, and these little petals here, we also want to curl. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and curl these, and then I'm going to curl them like that. Curl like that, and then kind of like that. I want them to have some life. We don't want them to be flat. Okay. Just like that. And you can push them down. All right. Let's get a little bit of glue on the top of this. That should be plenty. And it doesn't really matter which direction you put it on as long as it just matches up with that top part. Okay. Let me make sure that I got that on there correctly, and I do. Okay, and then these petals. And just be patient while that dries. I kind of put a really thin line of glue on there. And there we go. Give that a few seconds to dry. Okay. So one thing I forgot to mention about the little petals here at the top. Um, what we want to do is we want to lift these up and add a little bit of glue just at the top of there and just going down a little bit just before it hits the little vellum area and you want to push and hold that down so that these petals kind of lay more flat they're still going to curl out but you don't want them kind of just hanging out in the middle of nowhere land or no man's land i should say and um just going to hold that down until it sits kind of flush with it and then you can always go ahead and just kind of flare those petals out a little bit more, but definitely get those glued down just to the side there, just so that they're kind of up against the side there. And you do have to be patient because it naturally wants to kind of pull away. So just hold it there for a good minute or so, make sure that it sticks. And before you know it, it will be exactly where you need it to be and that will kind of finish off the
the little flower portion of it. Okay, so there you go. So you can see the difference here with this one. That one's kind of sticking out where this one is kind of lying, lying more flat. So that's the look that, that you want. And again, I'm just kind of putting a little bit of glue right there. And I'm gonna spread that out a little bit thinner because then it'll, it'll dry a lot faster. So that's that. Okay, so there is our little flower. Okay, now there's one more piece that goes on top here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and glue this back to back, but we're gonna leave these, we're not gonna glue these tabs together. We're gonna leave them flared out like that because they're gonna go right on top. So go ahead and put some glue on the inside of one of these. Make sure you get it, get it out there really nicely and just kind of stack it back to back, just like that. Make sure you've got the alignment perfect. Okay, you can just push that down. Okay, so that's that. And then we're gonna take some glue and put it on this piece here, these two pieces here, and we're just going to glue that right to this structure here and just push and hold that down until it sets. Okay, so there's our little flower. And again, that's gonna go right on top of, oops. It's gonna go right on top of this piece here. And what you want is this little tail thing, you want that to be kind of flaring out um, on this side of the door. So make sure that you get the orientation correct, okay? And what we can go ahead and do is just put, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue, my dowel landed in glue. Um, I'm gonna put glue along the top of this thing here. And then also a little bit on the outside. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put some glue here. We don't want it to smear out too much. We just want enough to where it'll grab it and it'll bond, but not leak all over the place. Okay, so that should be good. And again, focus on making sure that this little, this little tail thing There we go, okay. And just give that a little bit of time to set before you get crazy with it and start throwing it around. Okay, so, um, well, you know what? I mean, the main structure of this thing's done. We've got a little pretty flower that we're going to add to this. So I'm gonna show you how that works here in a second. All right, so we have, um, we have all these little flowers here, these tiny little flowers that we cut out of white glitter. I'm gonna put little um, rhinestones in the center of these to kind of give them a center, but I'm gonna curl these little petals back just to kind of wake them up a little bit so they're not so flat, and actually that's, that didn't work out too well. And I'm gonna take and glue one of these little flowers right to the bottom here, right by the door. There's gonna be a little flower there. I'll just glue that in place. And I'm gonna take one more little flower and put one right up there. So I'm just kind of bending the petals in, kind of bring this thing to life a little bit, and then try to find a small enough rhinestone to fit in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little dot of glue on the back of this. And I'm gonna add a little, a little decorative little piece there. Okay, so you've got one there and you've got one there. Okay, and uh, we can go ahead and start constructing our main flower here. Okay, and we've got three of these little flowers that are gonna go on this main flower. So what we wanna do is we're gonna find this piece here and you wanna go ahead and pinch these leaves here, okay, wherever you can. Some of them may not be very pinchable, 
but try to pinch these leaves the best you can to kind of give them a little bit of life too, just to wake them up a tiny bit. Okay, so there's our, our main base there. I'm gonna take these, these little leaves here, there's like two of them kind of connected, and those are gonna go right about here. Okay, and I'm gonna grab my pop dots because I wanna, I really wanna create some dimension on this piece. And if I glue it, I think we're gonna lose that. So I'm just gonna put a big old fat pop dot right on the bottom of that and get that lined up with the silhouette of these two other ones that are right there. Okay, and just kinda, just like that. Okay, then we have um, this little solitary guy here and he is gonna go right here along that one. So we wanna go ahead and pinch this too. Okay, and I'm gonna grab just a tiny little pop dot for him. I'm gonna have to take this pop dot and kinda of break it apart a little bit just to get a small little piece. Okay, I'm gonna put that right on the bottom, on the back part of the bottom here. And we'll just Place that right about there. Okay, maybe offset it just a tad. Okay, and then we have this piece here. Again, give it a nice pinch. Okay, I'm gonna steal a little bit more of this pop dot, put it right on the opposite side where we pinched it. Okay, and that guy is gonna go right here. And again, just maybe offset it just a tad. Okay, so it looks like that. All right, and that just leaves our little flower. And we have, uh, actually, we've got these three little flowers. And you can really, I mean, you can put these wherever you want. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them in a strategic little spot here. I'm gonna put a little dot of glue on the back of this guy. And he is gonna go right here. So we'll let that set. We've got two more little flowers here. I'm gonna fold these petals in, just like I did with the last few. Flip it over, nice little dot of glue. And he is gonna go right about here. Just kind of push down a little bit. It's a really delicate piece, so you don't need to, there we go. Okay, and I've got one more that I'm gonna put on that little bottom green petal. Okay, and pulling those, pushing those little petals in. There we go. And he's gonna go right about here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our little flower together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take and just kind of train the petals on the larger flower first. And I'm gonna curl these little tips, maybe curl one back, just to kind of give it a little more interest. Okay, so that's nice and curled, kind of scrunch it together. And we'll grab our next little layer here and train that, just like we did. I'm gonna curl these petals in as well, with the tips of them. And maybe just make this one kind of flare out. This one in, this one out, and in, scrunch it together. Get a nice little dot of glue in the center of our first layer. Okay, and we're gonna offset this so that the petals are not right on top of each other. Just like that, that's cute. Okay, and that leaves this guy here, I'm gonna bend these petals in just a tiny little bit to give it some life. I don't think I can use a, a dowel to train this. This is a glitter paper, so I'm just kind of scrunching this in a little bit. And I'm gonna actually pop dot that on there just to give this thing a little bit more life. And I don't like that pop dot anymore. I kind of butchered it a little bit. So I'm gonna just rip this one in half Try to keep it flat. Pop dots are so sticky, aren't they? Okay, and get that pop dot right on the back. 
and pop that right in the center of our flower. Okay, and then we have this little purple center piece here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna put a nice layer of glue on this because it's glitter. If you're not using glitter, I wouldn't worry too much about it. And just pop that right in the center. Just like that, okay? So we've got a cute little flower there. And this flower here is just gonna get glued on just like that, right there. So, and actually, why don't we just pop dot that too while we're at it, going pop dot crazy here. I'm just gonna grab a pop dot. The more dimension, the better, and the more fun. So let's throw that on there without breaking it apart. Okay, got it. And let's take a look here. I kinda wanna just get it right on there. There we go. Oops, the center kind of, there we go. Okay, cute. So, uh, the only thing that leaves is our little bumblebees. And I'll show you how those go together here in a second. Uh, and we do kind of, we want to anchor those before we put our flower down. Because the, the whole idea with the flower is um, we're going to pretty much hot glue it or glue it right about here, right by the door. Okay, and that's gonna definitely require some hot glue. And you also wanna make sure that you get it high enough so that the bottom part of this whole structure is not getting in the way of it sitting. Okay, so we'll get to that in a second, but before we do, um, we've got some little bumblebees, and I've already put one of these together. Okay, and here is another bumblebee. And here's what the bumblebees look like. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you're gonna have three of the yellow pieces. And for one, for this one here, this little bumblebee is gonna be sitting on a petal up here. Okay, and he, there's only one black piece for this one because we're not sandwiching him on anything. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of glue on the bottom of him. He's already put together. I'll show you how to put them together, but um, we are going to put him right about here and actually you know what I might need to hot glue this because I want him to kind of Well, let's see what it looks like here. Hold on Yeah, he's gonna need some hot glue because I want him at kind of an angle So I'll get to that in a second, but either way um, You can put these bees wherever you want. I'm gonna kind of put him at an angle right about there and then we have two little bumblebees and again this is optional if you don't want to do this um, on this little wire you don't have to but um, i think it'd be kind of cute to have a few bees just kind of hovering around this little area okay so let me show you how we put that together the one on the on the uh on the wire we've got one little yellow part and then there's two black parts, okay? So what I did, and I just used glue for this, was I got some wire, okay? And I basically just sandwiched the wire in between the two bodies, okay? So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on one of the bodies, and then I'm putting the wire right in the center of it, and then taking my other B, body and literally I'm push I'm pushing down really hard here a lot of force so that it almost like creates a dent where the wire is and it does create a dent and then just be patient while that holds that will sandwich the wire in between the two pieces and then when we're done we can glue the body right to it okay so that's basically what it should look like okay sandwich between the wire and then you can go ahead and put a little bit of glue on top here. Okay, and glue the bee's yellow portion right to that part. And then if you do it right, you'll see a tail and you'll see some eyeballs. Okay. Just like that. 
and that glue will dry transparent, so it's fine. And uh, because this part's so small and delicate, we didn't want to make this too difficult for you. So uh, you're probably going to want to get a little marker or something and just draw two little lines on his back to make him look like a bumblebee. Okay, so I've got the, got the little house here and I'm kind of just um, looping this around like this. This bumblebee, he's gonna be, he's gonna be about right there. Okay, so I'm gonna take my wire cutters and just cut that off and kind of straighten that out a little bit. And I'm gonna glue him right to the side of the structure here using some hot glue. I want him kind of, it's kind of dangling right there. He's kind of swooping in to the hive. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this off, just lay it down flat. And, and again, the flower that we just created is gonna cover all this up. So again, this is optional. You can just glue them to the roof if you want. I just thought this was really cute. So we'll go ahead and get our hot glue and just throw some on top of where that little wire is. And just be patient and let that hot glue really set before you let it go so that it stays in place. Okay, and then once, once it's adhered, you can definitely go in and move things around and adjust the wire a little bit. And I'm just gonna kinda, just gonna kinda uh, smear this on there a little bit better and thin it out so that it dries quicker too but that should definitely hold it in place once all said and done. Okay, and it's already kind of, already staying in place. Um, so I'll grab my other bee and he's gonna be heading for the flower because that's where all the good stuff is. And I'm gonna go ahead and curl this, curl this wire and twist it. It's almost like the, the little wire here gives the impression of his trajectory and um, just kind of makes it even more whimsical and makes it seem like it, he's just been buzzing around, having a, having a field day. Okay, so kind of like that. And then we'll straighten it out and maybe kind of get him going at an angle here and make him face the little flower and just kind of pop it right about there just like that okay so I'm gonna trim this okay and let's see I'm gonna put this back down I'm gonna pop that right next to the other one almost on top of it if possible and if you can get away with doing both of these at the same time, by all means, I would advise it. We'll just make quicker work of getting our little bees in place. Okay, just hold that in place until it sets. And I'm gonna just smear that glue around a little bit. There we go. Okay, so give that an opportunity to really set. And once you've got your bees in place, you can go ahead and hot glue your little flower elements to the side here. And again, this is gonna be pretty much like right about, right about here. Okay, so actually, I've got a little bit of excess wire here at the bottom that I'm just gonna trim off so that it doesn't show through. There we go. And our flower is gonna go right about there. We want it kind of on the corner. Okay, so before you really position this thing, again, you want it kind of right on the corner there 
Make sure that it's high enough to where the, the bottom little leaves are not obstructing anything. And I'd say that that looks pretty good right there. So kind of remember where you need to put that hot glue and be kind of generous with it because we really want that to stay nicely. Okay, and get that glued down just like that. Okay, uh, maybe, yeah, it looks good. Okay, and just be patient while that hot glue really sets. Okay, and then you can definitely just kind of clean up your little bumblebees here and twirl them around and make them cute and whimsical and there we go. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That just leaves one more little bumblebee that we're going to adhere to the side here. So I am going to put just a little dot of hot glue on the tip of that petal. And we'll just pop our bumblebee right there. And there you go. Super cute and we are all done. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.